Brew Channel. It is January 22nd, 2017, and one of my subscribers sent me an email this morning pertaining to her local news weather broadcast in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And as the weatherman, meteorologist, was doing his broadcast, they were showing in a live video clip the setting sun, which actually showed two suns during the broadcast on Channel 9, which is a Fox affiliate. And we're going to go ahead, and she was not able to actually capture the complete video broadcast. However, she quickly snapped a few photographs, probably with her cell phone. Now, I did go back to the Fox Channel 9 website, and I tried to actually find the video clip for this day, and it has since been completely removed from their weather broadcast. And we're going to go ahead and just zoom into this a little bit. Now, I'm not sure if the weatherman actually knows what is being shown on the television, because they do use the uh, green screen technology whenever they're doing these weather broadcasts. But, as you can clearly see in this photograph, it's depicting our sun and another luminous object right up above at about the 11 o'clock position. Now, we're going to go ahead and take another look at one more of the photographs that she sent in. And once again, these were just captured on the television. I was hoping to get the complete video of this because it would have been pretty extraordinary. And as you can see, once again, we're seeing our sun here and another luminous object right up above. So we'll take one more closer look. And you could see that this was taken from a television screen. Pretty amazing shot. It kind of makes you wonder every now and then, you know, what's really out there. And I've been getting a lot of photographs uh, over the past seven days. And these photographs, all of a sudden, everyone is capturing these amazing sun dogs. And as of lately, they're looking more and more erratic as the video footage is coming in and the photographs and actually I had this video come in from Russia and this was just videotaped probably within the last 24 hours I believe and, and again one of my subscribers sent this in and um, I turned down the volume because they're they're speaking in what I believe is, is Russian and they're very, very erratic. Um, I, I guess they're very surprised at what they're seeing when they're viewing this sun dog. Now, I've seen plenty of sun dogs before, but never have I seen a sun dog that is showing an object at the very bottom, where you see my cursor right here. Now, again, these sun dogs, I mean, listen, folks, this is up in the air, but again, I've never seen a sun dog like this before. But let's go ahead and play the video. And it's, it's, it's pretty interesting. And I'm just going to go ahead and open up the widescreen as much as possible so you can see this. And as I was listening to it, you can hear the, the individual that was taking the video footage was kind of frantic, um, excited that what they were seeing was just absolutely amazing. Now, one thing that I do with these types of video, when I do have the video footage, is I invert the uh, the video I turn it into a negative that allows me to see the objects that are being videotaped a little more clearly and I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick how I do that and let's just go ahead and back this up a little bit we'll, we'll just get the inversion going on and I'm gonna show you this because it's actually it actually shows you a whole different aspect of this video so we'll go ahead and open it up to the full screen now, once again, you know, this object down below at the bottom is really what I'm looking at. Now, these sun dogs are absolutely amazing. And um, over the last, like I said, over the last couple of weeks, I've been getting a lot of these photographs of these amazing sun dogs, and they just don't look like your normal sun dog. And this, whatever is over top, of this object. And let's go ahead and just back this up a little bit because I've never seen a sun dog 
that has this type of canopy over the top of it like this. Just really, really amazing footage. I'm very, very glad they sent this in. And again, this is coming out of what I believe is Russia. I had to, I had to translate the, um, the email. Really amazing footage. You know, folks, and once again, um, the best that I can say is, you know, when you're seeing footage like this and video like this and photographs, you know, make up your own mind on, on what you're seeing. If, if you know something, uh, you know, more than I do pertaining to video like this, hey, drop me an email. Um, put your comments in the comment section under the videos. Let me know what you think. This is an amazing, amazing video. I mean, if you just look at it, now, this is the, the little black dot that you see here. This would actually be the little lens flare coming from the camera because you can see it zipping back and forth as they pan the camera. But again, you know, looking at this photograph, you can clearly see the sun in the middle and two sources of light, one to the left, one to the right, and this huge halo canopy over top of this object, which is naturally the sun but we're gonna go ahead and just take a quick look because again this is what I was looking at this large illuminated object way below the Sun and I've never seen a Sun dog with with this object below it so we're gonna go ahead and just jump out of here we'll we'll turn the uh, the effects of the inversion off we'll go back to the original and again you can see this very clearly. So what is actually causing this illumination right above the horizon? Because we see the sun here. But what is this? What is this object right here? So I'm going to go ahead and open this up a little bit more and we'll play the rest of it. And it's just amazing. It's amazing what these folks captured on video. And I could only imagine the thoughts that were going through their mind as they're viewing this. And I've done a lot of research and reading about these sun dogs and, and how they occur and what causes them. And just recently, a scientist came out and said that, you know, they showed photographs of a double halo sun dog. And they said that this double halo sun dog was very, very rare. But yet, we're seeing them more often. And like I said, over the past seven days, I've received so many photographs of sun dogs captured all around the world, and not just in the, the northern region, uh, regions such as, um, you know, Siberia and Alaska, the North Pole. I'm getting these photographs from people all over the United States. And again, I can only imagine what is going through their head right now as they look at this. Just really amazing video footage. Very glad they sent this in to me. Yes, absolutely amazing. And once again, I'm going to go ahead and just stop this and, and we're going to just pan back just a little bit. You know, and here we go. Here is this illuminated object at the bottom. And this is what is confusing me. Because, again, I've never seen a sun dog. And this is what they call this this anomaly. They call it a sun dog. And we've been seeing more and more of this throughout the entire year of 2016. And now, once again, in 2017, we are now seeing even more amazing sun dogs. Atmospheric phenomenon? I don't know. All I know is, over the years, after viewing so many of these photographs of sun dogs, I've never seen any sun dog with an illumination of a spherical object below right above the horizon captured in the complete video but again folks I just bring you the information and you make your own decisions on what you're seeing but we are seeing things around the world that the majority of us we've never seen in our lifetime and that includes me now the other day once again I put the um, the laser lens 
on my camera and went out once again because we had a clear day. And by the way, where I live in the state of Pennsylvania, we normally have weather in the middle and end of January with lows below 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And normally we don't get out of the 20s during the daytime. However, yesterday and the day before, and we're going to have a complete week of very warm weather, but yesterday was absolutely fantastic. At 10 o'clock in the morning, it was 52 degrees. Later on in the afternoon, the temperature went up over 60 degrees Fahrenheit. The sun came out. Um, I, I sat on my, my patio. I put a pair of sunglasses on, and I sat there and took a few photographs. I put the laser lens on the camera, and as I was taking the photographs, I could feel the intensity of the sun on my face. So much that after five minutes of sitting there and observing the sky and the sun, my face actually started to burn. I could feel the burning sensation like I was sitting in the sun in the middle of July, which is the dead of our summer. So I'm going to go ahead and, and zoom in, and I have actual video footage, once again, of what transpired in the skies where I live. And once again, I'm using a laser filter over my camera, and I also have a pair of safety glasses, which are used for anyone that's using a CNC operation machine, which actually uses a laser to cut large plates of steel into very intricate patterns and you have to wear these laser safety goggles it's the same as whenever you're welding you don't want to actually look at that light it would damage your eyes now, I've had these laser goggles for quite some time and I put them on and I could see this object above the Sun with my own eyes not just through a camera not just through a video camera so this is what is leading me to believe what I'm looking at is actually there. It's not a camera anomaly because my eyes, well, they're not camera lenses. They are my own eyes. And this is what I was seeing with my own eyes with the help of these laser goggles. Now I had a lot of folks asking me, hey, where do you get those? Where do you get those laser lenses for a camera? If you just simply Google laser lens for camera, you can find them on Google and also the laser protective eyewear. Now, the goggles that I have were $32. You can buy cheaper ones for about $8, but you can find all of this directly online and you can order them. But the reason why I use the laser lens is because it blocks out a lot of the rays of the sun. Just absolutely amazing photograph. Now, what I want to do is I want to zoom in and I want to show you this very clearly. Now, they started to chemtrail, well, probably about 30 minutes after I was outside. I could see the chemtrail planes coming, and they're spraying this kind of faint gray admission. And um, it doesn't form these big, big puffy clouds. It just lays a very faint gray haze over the sky. And they've been doing this now since November. What the, what the composition is, I don't know. I don't know. But it does do the job. It does dissipate and spread very quickly. But when I was looking at this photograph after I took it, you can see the cloud cover that was starting to form all around the sun. And again, you can see right here, you can see the clouds starting to cover this object. And I have many photographs that we took yesterday along with some video. And I'm going to be showing all of that later on today. I'm going to put it all together in a video. And once again, folks, you be the judge at what you're seeing. You can order a laser lens for your camera, or you can order the goggles. If you want to invest a few bucks, go right ahead, put the goggles on, take a look at the Sun and see what you see and if you're seeing the same thing that I am seeing well we're gonna have to really start to think okay yes 
there is possibly something else in our solar system that we don't know about. Once again, my investigations into Planet X and the Nemesis solar system will continue. I want disclosure. I want to find out the truth. There are entirely too many things occurring on our planet right now as we speak. The massive amount of earthquakes. Just earlier this morning, we were waiting for this big earthquake. We kind of knew that it was going to occur somewhere in the South Pacific. Well, there you go, bingo, an 8.0 in the Solomon Islands, followed by several very large quakes. We haven't gotten any reports coming out of the Solomon Islands um, talking about any destruction. They did issue a tsunami warning as far as Hawaii. So we're going to be updating and checking on that situation in the Solomon Islands. But once again, folks, I'm just going to bring you the information that I've been receiving and what I investigate, and I want you to make up your own minds on what you're seeing. Absolutely, truly amazing, and it really makes you think. So with that said, stay tuned to the Nibiru channel. Thank you for watching. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is January 22nd, 2017. And one of my subscribers sent me an email this morning pertaining to her local news weather broadcast in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And as the weatherman meteorologist was doing his broadcast, they were showing in a live video clip the setting sun, which actually showed two suns during the broadcast on channel 9 which is a Fox affiliate and we're gonna go ahead and she was not able to actually capture the complete video broadcast however she quickly snapped a few photographs probably with her cell phone now I did go back to the Fox Channel 9 website and I tried to actually find the video clip for this day and it has since been completely removed from their weather broadcast and we're gonna go ahead and just zoom into this a little bit now I'm not sure if the weatherman actually knows what is being shown on the television because they do use the uh, green screen technology whenever they're doing these weather broadcasts but as you can clearly see in this photograph it's depicting our Sun and another luminous object right up above at about the 11 o'clock position now we're going to go ahead and take another look at one more of the photographs that she sent in and once again these were just captured on the television I was hoping to get the complete video of this because it would have been pretty extraordinary and as you can see once again we're seeing our Sun here and another luminous object right up above so we'll take one more closer look and you could see that this was taken from a television screen pretty amazing shot it kinda makes you wonder every now and then you know what's really out there and I've been getting a lot of photographs uh, over the past seven days and these photographs all of a sudden everyone is